So every visit of mine to anything associated with Vision India Foundation or Rashtram or Rishihood has always been great. It's always been, we expect something and come, but something always happens beyond our expectations. So I came to the alumni reunion, though it was a long weekend, I chose to come here. It's just incredible. Meeting uh, Shobhit sir, meeting Sahil sir, and having a understanding of the other fellows who are part of the Vision India Foundation currently Rishihood. And Vision India Foundation gave me opportunity to explore my leadership skills and gave me fellowship in electoral politics domain. I am very, very happy to be back here. Genuinely very happy to be back here. Hi, I'm Aditya and I'm an engineer by uh, degree. I'm also I also was an engineer by profession for a couple of years. I worked abroad in, in the Middle East. So after that, I've majorly been in business side. I have my own digital marketing firm. I had a small stint uh, as a government consultant for the government of Andhra Pradesh. And I also work extensively with NGOs and social sector organizations, more specifically in the marketing side of it. VIV's first program was the Policy Bootcamp. And I was uh, lucky enough to be the one of the first uh, delegates in the first program, uh, which is the Policy Bootcamp. And after that, I've also been part of the other programs. I've even had a chance uh, to work both voluntarily and even professionally with Vision India Foundation at a later point. So every visit of mine to anything associated with Vision India Foundation or Rashtram or Rishihood has always been great. It's always been, we expect something and come, but something always happens beyond our expectations. It's just incredible. Even, even the hostels, the way the hostels are designed is so brilliantly done because I've, I've stayed in multiple campuses, I've stayed in multiple hostels. The way it is built, the amount of thought that has gone through how a room is designed, how each person in a room accesses a washroom, even that is so well thought of. So if you plan, to come to Rishihood, do experiment the policy accelerator program at Rishihood. It's going to be worth it. Even the staff, even who are the instructors, there's going to be a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning even from them because even they are going to seek a lot of knowledge from you. So I'm Rahul Suryanshi and uh, I am was part of the Good Governance Yatra 2019 with uh, the Vision India Foundation. I was a student of final year student in economics at that point in time and I wanted to explore more about public policy and there was no real hands-on experience that I had or interactions with policy stakeholders during that point of time. And being a student of economics, I believed that that was something which was necessary. Hence, I joined the program. So the nine-day yatra took place from uh, Delhi to Haryana to Rajasthan to Gujarat. And throughout the place, we met some fantastic public policy leaders, uh, government officials. At the same time, we also had a very dynamic cohort uh, within the yatra. Uh, with my fellow delegates, which interactions enriched my understanding of public policy. So I came to the alumni reunion, though it was a long weekend, I chose to come here. Uh, all the alumni I knew from my batch, there was going to be Suryaban Dada, there was going to be Aparna. So all these people who I have personal connect, I have maintained connections with even after four or five years of my journey. I think that is something which brought me to here. Along with that, meeting uh, Shobhit sir, meeting Sahil sir, and having a understanding of the other fellows who are part of the Vision India Foundation currently Rishihood. These people have sort of made an impact to a level which I envision to do and something which I have been in touch with and that is why I came to the reunion and it was a wonderful experience here. To the incoming students of Rishihood, I would like to say that uh, you guys have a fantastic campus. Uh, you have a very rational and very positive minded uh, leadership at the helm with your vice chancellor and your program directors. I believe that uh, whatever courses you are learning are going to be pertinent to the industry and your uh, teachers are going to be the same. Namaste, my name is Surya Banhan Mantrao Jadho Patil. I am from Satra district of Maharashtra. After uh, exploring uh, so many leadership uh, qualities and working with Sarpanj, MLA, MP, I realized that I should join uh, such a program where I can explore more and Vision India Foundation gave me same opportunity to explore my leadership skills and gave me fellowship in electoral politics domain. I have been associated with uh, Vision India Foundation since like last seven to eight years almost. In these two days, I learned some you know new uh, ideologies which can be inculcated in upcoming you know, interventions. So one out of that is rightly said by Santoshji uh, yesterday, ki agar aap koi bhi kaam kar rahe, aur usme asafalta bhi aagai hai aapko, to koi dikkat nahi hai, jaysay ki asafalta aagai hai, to yeh 
भगवान ने ही चाह होगा कि कहीं ना कहीं पे आपको और बेटर अपॉर्चुनिटी वहाँ पे मिले और अगर सफलता मिली है तो और भी अच्छा है उस करियर में आप और आगे बढ़ते चलिए टू द अपकमिंग न्यू कमर्स टू द रिशीवड यूनिवर्सिटी कि दे शुड कम विद द माइंड सेट दैट दे आर नॉट जस्ट कमिंग हियर टू गेन नॉलेज और गेन एक्सपीरियंस बट ऑल्सो दे हैव टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट इट बैक टू द सोसाइटी एंड देन ओनली वी कैन बिकम अ जगत गुरु भारत एंड वट एवर द ड्रीम रिशीवड यूनिवर्सिटी इज हैविंग My name is Ajay Chandra and I am from Chennai. I work for the government of Tamil Nadu in the Investment Promotion Agency of the Industries Department and I am an alum of the uh, of the Public Policy Program for Executives 2020 edition monsoon. I am very very happy to be back here. Genuinely very happy to be back here. So it is one thing to have a network but I think it's much more important to see a family in that network. And not only have I found a great breadth of uh, experiences of industries of skills amongst the people i have met in this program in, in this in this reunion but it's also the fact that we all come together in this certain uh, in the certain shared belief that india or bharat can be a much kya 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 can can be much more prosperous and a much more uh, progressive nation provided we all put our shoulders to the wheel and work in and work in the right direction i think it is this uh, shared sense of value that brings us all together so to the incoming batch i would tell them to be curious to take what is learnt in the classroom and to go beyond and test these things in, in the real world i want i want for all the students in the upcoming batches to be to be hungry for information hi so i am katya aini uh, i am currently working at the carnegie endowment for international peace in the technology and international affairs i recently finished my masters from the fletcher school where i specialize in technology policy and human security and i am a political science student by training it was uh, it was certainly a very uh, welcoming endeavor taken undertaken and um, i was very reminiscent of my time at the policy boot camp and uh, meeting old friends and making newer friends uh, that was the best part the only message that i have for any student who's wanting to enter this domain is uh, once we try to cross that threshold where you leave your own expertise behind and enter the very broad ambiguous field of public policy where you try to solve for things that are virtually unsolvable uh, we have to leave our biases behind my name is sayed so i have graduated in electrical engineering from one of the colleges in bangalore uh, post that i was working as a software engineer with uh, wipro technologies uh, for a, for two years of time uh, post that i was trying i was preparing for my civil services examination uh, and then i applied for azim tmg fellowship accordingly i got into the azim tmg fellowship within that fellowship i came into the policy boot camp program the first uh, program that was organized by the vision india foundation and it was very motivating for me to stay back in this sector that program helped me to stay back in this sector i was part of the policy boot camp program the program was very well designed not in just terms of you know organizing the lectures or you know giving some read reading outs or learning materials but also taking us to the field you know right stakeholders on the ground in some of the village through our village visits and also interacting with some of the ministers and officials right in their offices that kind of a holistic understanding will help us build the understanding of this space this policy space in a better way and contribute you know uh, with our skill sets in a more better way and more impactful way is what i feel after completing my fellowship i joined the azim tmg foundation getting the motivation from the vision india foundation cohort and the people who are here and stuff uh, and then i got into the uh, you know the role as a program manager with the azim tmg foundation presently i am working as a senior program manager for the azim tmg foundation primarily my role is to measure the impact of our work in the field and second to kind of you know ensure that there is a proper adoption of technology that is happening in the field the area of interest is evidence based policy making and uh, ensuring that what all research uh, you know the organization does reaches to the uh, policy maker and also to the uh, right audience in the field i think uh, rishur university is a fantastic space and the space here is very nicely crafted very nicely designed for you to learn you know interact with each other from your peers and also from your faculties and then you know contribute in the nation building i think this would be a wonderful space in terms of you know building your skills building you know your problem solving abilities and contributing to the nation in a better way 